while I was growing up, we had lots and lots of plants. I mean, lots of plants. And then there are these plastic, they're cheap plastic, but plastic pots that have ventilation at the bottom. So if you were to reuse them again, or you were to create a smaller plant from a larger plant, you were to do some grafting and put it inside, you would have some extra pots to do that. Now, my family are avid gardeners, grew up on a farm. We've always, always had lots and lots of plants. And to this day, my dad is an avid gardener. My sister is my mother. They're, every day they're out there watering and they're doing all these amazing things with plants. And when you walk into their yard, it looks like a botanical garden. It is just gorgeous. And you just take pictures everywhere you go because it's so amazing. And somewhere along the backside of their property, they have a little stretch where they have a whole lot of empty pots that could then be repurposed and used at a later date. Okay, no judgments there. But I live in a major metropolitan city and I do not live on a farm. I live in a house that has about an acre of property and we have at one time purchased a whole bunch of plants and we've manicured our acre of property. Okay, we've been here for 13 years. I'm not potting and repotting plants like my parents are. I just have my plants in the ground. But I found myself one day with a whole bunch of pots just like this at my house. And I had to ask myself the question, what am I saving those pots for? Now, to be truthful, every once in a while a plant dies and my husband will put it back inside the pot and he takes it back to the store because the roots were bad when they purchased the plant, but that's very rare and far between maybe four or five of those little buckets would suffice. I don't need hundreds of those buckets, right? You might have hoarding tendencies if you have hundreds of buckets of empty pot plants like this that you're saving for I don't know what. Are you an avid gardener and do you repot plants on a regular basis? If you are a gardener or a farmer and this is your norm, that's perfectly okay for you right? But if that's not your norm and you're like me and you live in the city and you don't transfer plants on a regular basis, there's no reason to hang on to these over and over again. And so what I did one day is I boxed them up. I put them all in the back of my car and there's a great big place that's probably about five miles from my house and it's called the grower's outlet. And I went down to the grower's outlet and I said, hey, listen, you guys have plants that you use on a regular basis. Do you want all these pots? And they said, sure, just put them right over there. We'll take them and we'll recycle them and we'll use them as we graft plants and plant new stuff. So I was able to get rid of that, but get it out of my life because what I noticed for myself was I wasn't hanging on to them because I wanted them. And I wasn't hanging on to them because I was emotionally attached to them. And I wasn't hanging on to them for any sentimental reasons. I was hanging on to them because that was my norm. You see, that's where this gets interesting, right? We come from an environmental place of we just repeat what we know. We don't ask questions, we just repeat what we know. Then we wake up one day and we're like, whoa, wait a second, I have a choice. I can do something different than I've done in the past.